Hello everyone, Relgan here again with a CBT today against the GM Terrancellus on the map Ascension to Ire or Ascension to Standard, Ascension to Macro, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's the most standard map where we have the, all the mineral patches with the standard mineral to gas saturation. It's also Cloud Kingdom as I, want, as I like to call it because of the Cloud Kingdom 4th base and 5th base, I don't know. Everything looks very Cloud Kingdom-esque to me. And today we're going to have a look at a little bit of a more standard approach to the... Or more standard, a little bit of a longer CVT game. Standard CVT game where I'm going to play the Lingbane Hydralisk composition into the... Into the, the late game, into the Hive tech. I took my third base rather quickly. I got the drones in back into the gas after the link speed around the 2 minute 30 mark. I'm going to be a little bit aggressive with my links. I'm playing this a little bit different from the pick um, opener that you guys might know. I'm actually going to use the drops from the evolution chamber as well, I believe, as I'm setting up my dropper lord over there. Getting the second gas a bit quicker to get the upgrades out even faster and that's how I like to play the CVT matchup at the moment and I hope you guys will enjoy this video on it. I have the double queens in production right now to go up to a total of uh, 6 queens that I will use to deter his drop. He's actually able to scout my my link drop. I'm not sure if he just had that 6 sense or if he knows how I play but I like to go for the drop. Um, a lot of times and he was able to see it so he immediately oh, shut it down once my evolution chambers are done and I get that 250 gas around now right I get the double upgrades going around the 450 mark I like my upgrades delaying his push a little bit with links and well, the overlord was kind of sacrificial I guess it does delay his push a bit he's going for the third base rather quickly it's a little bit bad with the muling, but mistakes happen, right? I'm also a little bit lower on the drone count than your usual player would be. It's also because I have took that gas. I could have four drones more over here right now. Then all I need to build is like three more. And I'd have this base saturated as well. I see his um, marines over here that I'll try to shut down uh, with my queens and links. And after I got my plus one plus one, I'm getting my lair with my next 100 gas and as well as a banning nest because you never know when your opponent is actually going to just try and all in you. I'm playing this with a uh, more queen defensive, uh, with a uh, more queen defensive, like with a lot of queens. Usually I just get hydras. This time I'm getting a little bit more on the queen side. This third base is now done. Economy wise, we are about even. He's getting that factory down, the additional barracks going up to a total of 5 barracks right now into the double upgrades. My upgrades are a bit quicker than his, as you can tell by the production tab. So one thing that I really like, getting out those very very fast upgrades. A lot quicker than the usual player will get them. I'm being harassed over here with, by a liberator right now, but I'll, I'm able to deal with that as well. Just have to be careful not to lose everything to the to the combination there. Lost a couple too many links to that, but I don't know, it happens. Same time there's still a drop over here. My plus one plus one is almost done. So it will help me a little bit when it comes to dealing with the marines, but in the the big thing that we need to kill right now is the liberator. And because I put the evolution chambers there. In the way the way I did, it's kind of an, uh, hard for me to actually get to the get to the the liberator. Down here we still have this small drop going on. I'm not really showing many, much counter aggression right now. I'm getting that macro hatchery down, getting that fifth down, and it's going to be a lot of defensive play by me this game. I'm now going up to a total of six gases. Once I feel very safe, I have a high drone count as well. And I'm getting my fourth base and the macro hatch, as I mentioned. Bailing speed is very important, and I think I'll follow this up with a hydralisk then right now, once I have the gas for it. I'm a little, little bit gas starved because a lot of my money does go into those upgrades. I'm going for a link counter attack right now as he's moving out on the map. Kind of accidental, didn't know he was going to move out right now. 
but I'm getting a decent amount of damage done over here. And this army is not that scary to me. I, my queens are kind of out of position, sadly. But he's losing a lot to the to my counter aggression. I'm also morphing some banelings as well as banelings at home, of course. Uh, this is kind of awkward because I have links on both side of, sides of his army. The marines killed my banelings pretty quickly. Over here, he still has to deal with the links, so the counter attack did a lot of damage. And as you can tell, my macro is kind of falling apart. I could make a lot more links right now and drones as well, but missed some injects. Well, not that many actually but i kind of messed up my macro i think i should have gotten the macro edges a bit uh, the macro edge a bit quicker and the fourth as well but i'm going to be fine either way because i can now spend the money i just didn't, couldn't spend the money right in the mid stages of the game over there before in the end as long as you can spend your money on the units that you want you're going to be fine i'm going up for uh, even ha to an even higher drone count despite me having a lot of money also getting that Hydralisk Speed instead of the Lurker then, because Hydralisk Speed is really good. And I'm getting the Infestation Pit. I haven't really seen any tanks from him yet, and he hasn't seen any of my Hydras. So he's actually expecting Mutas and is building force because of that. I'm cleaning him up over here with Ling Hydra Baneling. He does have the Liberators, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe he expected Hydras, was like, well, I need Liberators, and then he's like, well, but no Hydras are coming, so I guess I need the other tech as well. That's at least how I think this all went down. So I'm killing the Liberator here. Getting the gases at my fourth as well. Gas is very important when you're going for this kind of composition because it's very gas heavy. The hive will cost a lot as well. My plus two plus two is already done. But this is only halfway uh, there. So I have a very good, um, in a very comfortable position right now. Making it very hard for him to actually deal with my composition. I have Link Hydra Baning over here to, for defense. I have this um, Link Counter set up to try and see if he's expanding here or here. He's actually taking the sneaky fourth base and I'm not going to see that for a little while. That's a little bit annoying. He does see my Link Counter so I think he will get in position to deal with that. He's adding tanks now because he knows that Lurkers and especially Hydras are very dangerous to his composition. Uh, my link counter over here is trying to get some damage done, attacking that depot. But then I see all the marines, so I have to return home. I don't have any bane links, so I can't quite fight him there. It would have been great for me to scout that base. I'm only going to scout it once it's already almost mined out. I'm getting the hive. I should get a spire right now as well, just so I can add some brute lords. I lose a lot of my link baning over here. Kind of sad. Two liberators attack sieging this space will be taken down by these hydras, I assume. And the hydras are scared. They actually move away. No, they go back. Yeah, I have to fight the marine army down here as well. I didn't really pay as much attention to this fight as I did to the others because I, I had to move the hydralists along their backside here to actually get a good shot at the liberators. So he did kill off this base, that sucked a little bit, but um, I'm at least able to mine from this fifth base. I have a decent drone count and a lot of money, so I'm getting the lurker then right now as well. And I should get, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the 3 tree upgrades immediately, but I think I do. And I also get the ultralist cavern and some vipers, because vipers are going to help me a lot if he chooses to go for any tanks, or even to just abduct his liberators. It gives me the sad face, I'm not quite sure why. Maybe I shot something down over here. He's going to attack me over here and I'm completely out of position because for some reason I had no... Um, well, I mean, I should scout over there. Could help me a lot. Yeah, my Ling Bane is doing a pretty good job here. He doesn't actually have that many bio units here to begin with. I didn't see all the Widow Mines and once I... By the time I saw them I was already very committed. But I managed to trigger most of the mines either way. He still has a couple down here and my lurkers are now in the area as well. And there's no way for him to push into my lurkers. I could have easily cleaned that, that stuff over there up. So. so with me taking control of this fight, if you remember my old Ling Hydra lurker guide, it kind of ended at 
at Ling Hydra Lurker and we just went for for um, sometimes into the late game and we usually try to end the games with a drop. Nowadays I'm actually trying to play a more macro oriented game where I don't try to all in my opponent. I'm, I'm able to clean him up over here. I lost a lot of pains into the force which is quite sad. This is not the perfect fight for me. The wipers are kind of going in as well and dying so I, I made a lot of mistakes in this fight. Eventually I do get those liberators down though. Widow mines um, kind of triggered okay -ish as well. Cleaning up the last couple of widow mines and there's no way he pushes through these lurkers. So I'm still on my 5th base to his 4. He's taking his own 5th base right now and getting additional barracks. I've not really been very counter... Uh, counter... Well, not really countered him for a long time. But I do have those 7 ultralisks on the way right now while he has almost no counter to them. So he really needs a higher tank and liberator count, that's why he's building so many liberators right now. This also means that he can't build that many medivacs, because his medivac count is already fairly low and he keeps losing more and more medivacs to my... Yeah, to my hydras. He's pushing around over here, so he will try to push down into that base as well. Right now, if you check the army value, my army value is a lot higher than his, especially on the gas side. So I'm going to try and pick a fight here. He doesn't have that much here. It's mostly just some stray liberators that, lay, that I shut down pretty easily. Kind of went all over the place, but he didn't really have a solid army together. I think he doesn't really have an army at all, right? His army is kind of over here, but it's only marine tank, uh, marine for widow mine. But it's always, it's always kind of... <coughs> uh, dangerous to push into that with any kind of Zerg army because at the same time I'm being harassed by liberators again over here I do have the queens on the low ground that are able to kill the liberators luckily <coughs> <coughs> sorry that one hydralisk cleans up everything and another drop leaves towards one of my fresh bases Um, the drop, I don't know, like I'm getting the spy right now to get corruptors and especially brood lords. Corruptors against the drops and the medivacs and brood lords for all of the other stuff. Kinda sad I lost that base but it's also kind of okay. My 3-3 tree -tree is almost done. He runs into the lurkers here. Lurkers make quick work of all out of all of his marines. At the same time he has to deal with my attack over here and he's also dropping me in this space which hurts me. Um, he has a lot of liberators here so it's kind of hard for me to push into him. My ultralists are kind of dying to the liberators. As you can tell I still have the lurkers here so I can take a couple of his structures out. Sadly this one drop killed a lot of my workers, like a lot of thrones. Because at the same time I have a liberator down here that is doing even more damage to me. That liberator got shut down, I lost this space to the drop even though I had lurkers there. Lurkers are, they're really good but they don't do the damage quickly enough. Immediately as he scanned I unburrowed my lurkers. Try, trying to kill the liberator down here. Not sure if I, I can't quite get it sadly. Eventually he cleans up my lurkers. The ultralisk died to that one bunker as well. Praise the bunker. Yeah, a lot of chaos happened. I have a lot of gas right now that I need to spend army value wise. I'm still ahead, but it's like he has a lot of liberators and liberators are very good against my higher tech units. He's sending them through the center of the map a lot and I accidentally catch this one. A happy little accident. The Liberator is still on the high ground as it sieges down here so I can't actually see it. I'm trying to build a spore there. Bloop. And it's kind of annoying to deal with that. At the same time being attacked over here. I have a lurker and a spore here. So I'm able to shut that down. I have most of my army over here. I kind of lack in map presence this game. My lurkers sadly end up dying. And uh, I didn't see all the liberators. It's kind of weird that he has the liberator stationed that way as if he knows I'm not going to attack from this area. But I don't know. Maybe he knew where my army was. Yeah, then the liberators kind of get backstabbed. I still have a lot of gas. I have 85 thrones, but I'm not I don't really have the 
amount of mining bases that I want because I can't quite mine from this one. Here's that trick. Because if the Liberator shoots, then the, it gets revealed even if it's on the high ground, so I'm able to take that one down quickly. <coughs> I need a more gas heavy comp. I'm actually building additional drones going up to 92 right now. Just to feel good. For the feel good, you. I figured, well, if he doesn't have this base, then he. Well, then what, what is he even doing, right? So he doesn't have this space, he doesn't have this space, because that's what I scouted. I mean, there's one flying over there, but I, of course, can't see that right now. I then see it with my Corruptor, so I'm like, okay, gotcha, mate. So I realized, well, he has to, if he is able to throw away so many units over and over, then he must have units somewhere. Then my drones almost run into his marines, they drop eventually, well, I'm not sure if you want to call this a drop. The attack eventually cleans that up. I have paintings and hydras here. Ultralisks make quick work of his marines. He has, a, he, al he has almost no marauders in his composition. He, um, he chose to go for the liberators instead and sent his, put his gas into those units. He's also mining a lot of gas. I only has one SCV in each gas here, I guess. None here. Actually, he's not mining that much gas, huh? Yeah. I have a dangerous composition that's just walking across the map because I like to have two a lot that just put changelings at the watchtowers instead. And as you're able to tell, he's kind of falling apart a little bit. He's not really get able to get the damage done right now and that's a huge issue for him. Who's is that medivac? Over here is being attacked by Hydra Disc Ultra by Hydra Ultra composition. And this is where he actually just ends up dying. Because this Hydra Ultra fight really took him apart. It was just Hydra Ultra aim of, but his army wasn't in position over there. And now I added Infestors because I have so much gas, I just have to use the gas somehow. And if he loses this space, then he's left only five bases. He's trying to take a sixth over there right now. So I was like, okay, so this does not make sense to me at all. I know he probably has this space. And then I see like, wait, this one is al almost mined out already. So I push, I try to push into this space to get up here. And then I'm like, ah, uh, if only I knew, I would have taken out that base such a long time ago. Burrowing a lurker there. A moving over him here and eventually cleaning out the game because he has no income left. He's trying to build a base here. Not doing anything here. Lost this base. This one is pretty much mined out and so is this one. And that is how this game ended. And I want to thank you all for watching today's video on the Ling Hydra Baneling into Hive style macro game where we went for a more well, where my opponent actually didn't go for tanks, but instead opted for the Liberator-ish composition. So with that being said, I hope I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Until then, bye!